A pretty cold night is ahead of us. However, this weekend still looking pretty good, even after some unsettled weather to start the day tomorrow on your Saturday. Some rain showers around, even a wintry mix in our northern counties before things clear out during the afternoon for a few peaks of sunshine as well and a pretty nice day. It'll be cooler. Temperatures in the upper 40s, though, for Saturday, gradually getting warmer each day as well and even into next week. However, with warmer weather does come a few opportunities for storms. When temperatures get up into the 70s, here late February in West Virginia, that does bring some unsettled weather, and we could have some storms for Monday of next week as well. On the radar right now, partly cloudy skies for the time being, though, but the clouds will be thickening as we're kind of squeezed between a couple of storm systems. Winter weather advisory is in effect for the eastern mountains, where a mix of rain and snow is going to continue even into the afternoon tomorrow as well. But at this point in time, no other advisories currently in effect. So here's where we are. We're squeezed between two systems, some snow showers to our north along a weak front and also a cold front to the south bringing some rain showers there. That's what passed through last night. We expect some more moisture to develop in the area between the two systems this evening and bring some unsettled conditions to start Saturday morning. Now here's the opportunity for some ice accumulation, some freezing rain. I-64 points to the north as well. Could be a little bit slick early on your Saturday. Conditions do look to improve through the middle of the day and again the most important things, the higher elevated spots are more likely to freeze over and ice up with some of those rain showers. So a look at the future cast. Here's the increase in the clouds and even a few mixed rain and snow showers through Ohio start to make their way in and increase the number around sunrise for your Saturday. Mostly rain to the south, mixing once you get north of I-64. Here in Charleston, we'll get the activity around sunrise, mostly rain showers here. And then by about lunchtime, 12 noon, 1 o'clock, the activity really clears out of the region. And we even get a few peaks of sunshine there by the afternoon. Now into Sunday, we are looking a little bit warmer. After a cold start in the 30 Sunday morning, warmer weather arises. We will get into the 50s there with sun and a few peaks as well, but mostly, again, just a nice warm day to end the weekend after an unsettled start to Saturday. For Monday, Monday is when a warm front approaches late the Sunday night into Monday, and then that's our first round of rain. But then notice in the afternoon, a couple of showers and thunderstorms. Things are a little bit unsettled for Sunday afternoon or Monday afternoon into Tuesday. And even though we won't get a whole lot of rainfall this weekend with the highest totals in the southern part of the state, definitely a lot more rain on this map as we get into Monday with those opportunities for showers and thunderstorms throughout the day. Pretty cold night tonight, cloud cover increasing, and also the showers coming in later on with those northeast winds as well. So a nice weekend ahead of us before things get a little bit unsettled into next week. Tomorrow is the winter blues market at the Charleston Coliseum. Once the showers up, you're looking for something fun to do. It looks pretty nice in the afternoon. There are mostly sunny skies and westerly winds as well later on in the day. So what's driving this opportunity for storms on Monday is an area of low pressure sliding to our north and our east over the Great Lakes region. And again, a pretty powerful cold front making its way towards us, passing through during the afternoon and early evening. And while Tuesday looks to be a little bit cooler after that, anytime a strong cold front comes through, that does bring the opportunity for some strong and damaging wind gusts with any of the showers and thunderstorms, which right now the best severe risk looking to be into Kentucky. Nice weather next week into the 70s for Wednesday before another opportunity for storms Thursday and into Friday.